In this video, you'll learn how to edit just like Yovan Karnich's simple editing style. But before we get into that, my name is Edding Torsten, where I create digital assets online for content creators just like you. So make sure to go check that out, link in the description. And now let's hop into Premiere Pro. As always, when you're starting, make sure to have all your presets ready and loaded so you don't waste any of this useless time that you don't wanna be doing. Let's start by creating the captions. All you have to do for captions is pretty simple. Go up to text, hit captions. If you haven't transcribed the sequence, just do that, it's pretty easy, just hit transcribe. Captions, create captions. And for his, they're always one. So let's just drag them all the way to the left. Make sure it's on single lines because if you don't do single lines, it's gonna stack on top of each other and it's not gonna look good. Hit create captions, easy as that. And now let's see how well the job it does. Just make sure to go through all the captions and look at how well it does. This roll caption effect you've been seeing all over your Instagram feed and it's much easier than you. There, it did a really nice job. So now he has it right in the middle. Just highlight them all by left clicking and dragging. You wanna go up to your properties and hit this square. All these squares basically does is, it's pretty self-explanatory, just grab them like that. I don't know what font he uses, but I'm just gonna use the same old, same old Monoceret. You guys should just go check that out. I'm gonna just use black because his is pretty bold. I bring it up a little bit. That's about as best the size as you probably want is 106. He doesn't use any shadow, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And now let's start with this first part. He starts with get right in the middle, right up below his chin. This roll capture effect you. Then starts with kind of a fade with a bunch of different type of text styles. And last but not least, then he has this effect that flickers the entire thing and fades off. That's pretty simple and easy. Now, just highlight all your captions again, go up to graphics and titles and hit upgrade. What upgrading from captions to graphics does is it allows us now to manipulate whatever we want and put these effects on them that I'm going to show you in a little bit. So he starts with this, this, so you'll put it up in the top left. So let's just align it like so, put this in the top left. He doesn't use a capital, so I'll just do that. And make sure to put these as a staircase, so one on top of the other, just like so. Drag them, make sure that they all align with the last one. Now you get this, that doesn't matter, we'll just put this below it, like right there. And this one, this roll cap. put this down like so too. And now he has that kind of like weird sense of different style of captions. All you wanna do is kind of zoom in. Probably does it about every one frame. So just hit every one frame and cut it. So it'll look exactly like th this. Now that you have them cut up, I just left the back because I know that it just stops at a certain point. So just go to the first one. You can just do like caption. I know he does like a different words. So the first one do caption. Then the second one you can go like viral. Make sure to just mess with the fonts too. So for like this one, I'm gonna just grab a random font like, oop, make sure to highlight it. I'm just gonna grab a random font like that. And then the next one I'll do, I can do style, S-T-Y-L-E, style, and also change it. I'm gonna change it to my one kind of cursive that I like. And once you get that all done, it'll look like this. So now that we have the layout, like you can see on my timeline, Let's start with just this simple fade of this, this. You can either do two ways by just going up to the effects tab, clicking on this opacity, going to the first keyframe, clicking it, go to the first keyframe, click it, and go like a little bit, hit that, and then go to the first one, zero, and you kind of get this like basic fade in. This it looks okay, but we don't really want it to look okay, do we? No, we don't. We want it to look like his. So what I'm just gonna do, instead of wasting a bunch of time, I'm basically just gonna go up to here. He has a blur with it, so I'm just gonna add fade in blur. Crank that up, and now it kinda, it's really harsh, but just kinda bring it to the right. Same with the Gaussian blur. Align it with the other one, and it kinda gets something like that. Maybe we can actually go to this first one and just have it not so hard, so maybe nine, like that. There, that looks a lot better. Looks a lot like his. It's that easy, that simple. If you guys want to grab that, go out, go down the link in the description, grab the text and logo presets that they're going to be using. I save 
five dollars off with the code yovan make sure to go grab that and now let's go to the rest of this video. This viral, you can see when you zoom in, I zoom in here, this kind of like, it's a difference effect. All that is, is you go into one of these and you go to this normal where it says opacity, hit difference, and now you'll get that effect. Now you could just copy this, highlight these all, and then control V to paste it, and then you get the caption effect, just like that. Now it looks exactly like it, so. Let's see what we have so far. This roll caps the big. Perfect. Looks exactly like his. Now let's go on to this next part. He uses a flicker on the effect. The big. So once again, you can just go up to opacity and just use the opacity keys to go up and down. So the first keyframe is 100, second, zero. Then the next is just a simple kind of one like that. But what I'm just gonna do is just, again, you go over here and grab wherever the flicker is. Let's just search it up, F-O-I-C-K-E-R. Grab the subtle flicker. It's a lot easier and it's more subtle. Just kind of bring them out with the keyframes, just like this. And now you get that flicker. Perfect, looks like his. Awesome. I love that. Now let's go on to the next spot. Now for the second part, he uses this border. You can see there's kind of like an enclosed border around it. it, makes it like a little circle. And then he uses a match cut. And what it basically a match cut is, is you find something in the same spot on an image. So like for example, if you have a watch that's circular, you wanna match that watch with another circular item. So it can go from a watch to a wheel to a camera lens and you just do that like quickly and just find a bunch of objects like that. But for him, he's talking about viral text effect, this one that we're creating right now. So what I did, I just went online on Instagram, scrolled for like 15 minutes and screenshotted a bunch of these. So I'm just gonna drag them onto my layer. I'm gonna show you how I'm going to do it and then I'll cut to it. I'm just gonna scroll this down a little bit. I'm gonna go up to my Premiere Pro Composer and grab my overlay that I'm going to be using. Okay, so now I have his kind of overlay. And what you just wanna do is zoom this down or zoom it up, bring it to kind of like the middle, zoom it out a little bit bring it into the center of it. And I'm just gonna match these all like his and I'll get right back to you when it's get done. Here's a quick tip. If you guys want to line up these perfectly, just go down to this kind of check mark where you're doing it. And you wanna grab the show rulers and show guides. All you do is just grab it, drag it and click it down here. Once you hit that, hit okay. And then come over to this left side and you can see how this is a guide and just put it exactly where you want it. So for me, I'm just trying to line these up exactly kind of in the middle of these. So now when I go to the next frame, I can just go to my thing and go like that. So now it's just perfect. All right, so once you are done and you did that kind of ruler trick, it should look exactly like this. Ding all over your Instagram feed. And it's now let's go on to the final text effects that are going to look absolutely amazing. I'm sure you guys are following along. Yes, I hope so. Let's get this done and do it as swiftly as possible. And it's much easier. They're just basic fades in like you did on the last time. And all you wanna do is highlight it like last time. Just do the stair staircase method. So I'm gonna go to uh, change this to and, grab this, grab this like so, and just mess around with it and you get something like this. So once you have them lined up all the way like I do, you want to just simply, like again, just highlight them all. Come over to the fade in with blur v2, grab it, and it looks exactly like this. It's much easier than you. That's pretty good to me. If you it's want to easier. kind of make it longer, like his is just a little bit, just kind of drag these a little bit to the right so the fade is a lot better. And it could be look like it's this. Much easier. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Now let's just do these last three words and we are done. All right, so now let's do this last part. All you wanna do is again, do the exact same staircase method like I'm doing and put them up like so, where I'm just simply kind of doing them. If you wanna highlight this and make it kind of tilted like that, just go over here and tilt it just like that. And he also uses a drop shadow on Think. So just kind of come over to the drop shadow. Again, mess around with the drop shadow. Just make it slightly, just about right in front of it. Kind of like that. That looks pretty good, I'd say. And also get it underlined by just highlighting all, clicking this underline button, underlined it. And now you get exactly something like his. He also uses that blur. So once again, just highlight them all, 
go over to all the presets you guys can grab, grab it, put it on the layer, and it's that easy, that simple, that fast. And if you guys wanna learn more about editing styles like famous people, go click this video right over here. You'll learn exactly how to edit like Devin Jaflo.